everyone, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. Okay, I've shown you how to prime the Home Right airless paint sprayer. I've shown you how to paint a building. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean the machine. And I don't want you to feel like this is overwhelming because I promise this is super easy. Now I'm gonna show you the way that I typically clean the gun and um, I hope you find that it's easy too. So the way I typically clean it is I take my tubes straight out of the can, which you can see they've got black paint on them from when we were painting, and I put them in a fresh bucket of water. And then I have another bucket of water over here that just has a little bit of water in it just so um, it doesn't stick to the bottom of this bucket over here. And then I go ahead and I leave my gun on spray. I'm gonna put it on kind of a low spray so that it doesn't shoot this water back up at me. And then I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to go ahead and just start spraying out. All right, till I run out of, there we go. Till I run out of black paint in my gun, okay? What that means is I now have, once there's no more black paint, spraying out of this part of it, that means that it's no longer in my needle, okay? It's no longer up here, all right? It's now shooting straight water. So now I want to take it and I want to switch it to the, I'm gonna turn it off and I want to switch it to the prime and prime is going to now clean out the hose. Okay, so I'm gonna take prime that we did in the first video, and I'm gonna switch the other dial to where it says prime and clean. Then I'm going to take, remember we had the on off switch on our needle. So I'm gonna switch it so it's now on off, which is clean, and there's the arrow that's now pointing towards me, which means it's not spraying towards the wall. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn it back on. What that means is now it's not working on this part. What it's actually doing is working on the hose and it's actually going to take the clean water and suck it up through this hose and dispense the black paint out through the waste tube, okay? And that's gonna help clean out the machine. All right, and let's watch what happens here. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's not hard. So what I don't like is when I'm constantly like, what if I'm rolling and I'm rolling a wall and I have to clean out the roller and it takes forever and I'm constantly cleaning out the roller. This is a little patient, but I'm sitting here talking to you and we're having a good conversation, so it's not hard. Like I could drink a Coke or I could have some chips or have a snack while I'm doing this if I wanted to. So it's not hard. Okay, it's starting to get clean now. Look, my water is coming out clean. So now I know that this tube is now clean. So I turn it off. I know that this whole thing is clean. I will now take this apart. Um, so I'm gonna just unhook right here. Just unscrew that. I showed you in the first video how to screw that on. I'm just gonna unhook that. I just wanna make sure it's clean, and it is because I had sprayed all of the water and stuff through there. I like to keep this separate. I just store all this. The only other thing I like to do to keep my machine fresh and clean is you'll see I have some paint on the outside here I'm gonna just clean that off. I'm gonna use just a little um, uh, green uh, Scotch-Brite pad and get that tube clean, just so it doesn't, if I, the next time I might use white paint and I don't wanna get black flakes in it. So I'm gonna get that cleaned off and just make sure that my machine stays nice and pretty and that's all there is to it. So cleaning the machine is easy, getting the machine ready is easy, and painting is easy. I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY. See you next time.